one. <laughs> All right, folks, I am the Mighty Plantain back with another local Maine whiskey. This is Stroudwater, Stroudwater or Stroudwater? I think it's Stroudwater Distillery. This is their Belfry Double Barrel Bourbon Whiskey. This is out of uh, Portland, Maine. It's like uh, Liquid Riot, one of the other whiskeys I've been covering. One of these days I'll hit somebody who's not in Portland, but I think a lot of our local distilleries are based in Portland. Uh, see here, 45% ABV, which of course means it's 90 proof. Hmm. Not much else about it. Just says double barrel bourbon whiskey and specially blended from a selection of fine bourbon whiskeys produced and bottled by Strewed Water. So here's the real question. Did they actually produce produce this? Or was it just blended there? Because you can say it was produced if it was blended. Um, so I'm going to assume that they distilled, bottled, and distilled, barreled, and bottled it all on site, rather than just ordering up a selection of barrels from other distilleries and actually um, just doing the blending there. I don't know. I'll have to research it to find out. Nice little label. Covering that up, I think I tore enough of it. There we go. Ooh, nice little synthetic cork. I like the shape of the bottle. It's got a nice heft to it. You can hold that in your hand pretty good. That makes an awesome Molotov cocktail. <clears throat> Not that I'd know anything about that. That's got an interesting aroma about it. It's sticking to the glass really well. And it's got this nice smooth, um, nice smooth set of legs on it. It's an interesting amber color, brownish amber. Let's take a look at that. Well, it's got an interesting aroma to it, too. Something there I can't quite put my finger on. I mean, it's a little sweet. I feel like a... a Toasted caramel or co or toasted caramel or toffee. Hmm. This is really interesting, sweet, sugary, um, maybe even molasses smell to it. Hmm. But like all those brown, brown sugary things, caramel, toffee, molasses. I'm really getting hints of that. As well as an underlying toastiness. Maybe a hint of smokiness in the finish there. Not in the finish, but in the uh, in the nose. Hmm. It's definitely getting an inter interesting aroma and an interesting look on the glass. Still a lot of those sweet notes. It's got a pretty good burn on the back of the palate and the back of the throat as it goes down. I can feel it like warming and it's right about here. And it's going to keep warming as it goes down. Very smooth. Like I said, it's got those those notes of the sweet sugary stuff. Just 
just like toasted caramel toffee and molasses. There's, there's, <clears throat> I mean, that's complex enough as it is. There's not really anything else coming out. Like I said, it may be a bit of smokiness in the finish, but mostly that those to toasty notes and those um, those really sweet candied aroma, candied flavors. And again, it's got that nice healthy burn to it, but that's fading as I'm drinking it, so it's um, it's going away pretty quick. really good it's definitely definitely something worth checking out um see so yeah, i mean if you're gonna blow 40 bucks on a bottle of whiskey why not buy local um because you're gonna find some really decent local main whiskeys that are just as good as anything you're gonna pick up from overseas or imported or from another overseas or imported that's the same thing or from any of the bigger national distilleries so support your local distilleries that way they don't feel the pressure to sell out to the big national ones and get themselves shut down take a look at white rock distilling and what happened to them anyway um this is a really solid whiskey i would definitely recommend checking it out you know you can make the argument it's a bourbon versus whiskey but it is a bourbon whiskey and honestly bourbon and whiskey very very similar products uh really the big difference is one was made in bourbon county and one wasn't but then again a bourbon whiskey can be a bourbon style now because we've got some that aren't even made in bourbon county and again that calls into question this even more was it just blended out strewed water or was it actually um distilled at still water it's strewed water i mean it could even be distilled there and they could still say it was produced so i just i want to know did they make the whiskey originally themselves and barrel age it or did they just grab a bunch of barrels of uh, other whiskeys and blend them so <clears throat> either way doesn't really matter is a damn solid whiskey and it supports a local main business so check it out let me know what you have to say about it down in the comments the email link down below waiting to hear from you on that while you're down there make sure to like and share the video don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification whenever i post a new one until next time folks thanks for tuning in cheers